big face. Hello, uh, Stub, look at the camera. Hello, my name's James Smart, and I draw comics. I've been drawing Bunny vs. Monkey for the Phoenix for years. And you might know we've been collecting them in a brand new style of book. This style of book. Smaller, but chunkier. Book one came out last summer. Book two comes out this February, which might be now, depending on when you're watching this. Bunny vs. Monkey and the Human Invasion. Carries on the story from Bunny vs. Monkey book one. But now, humans have joined in. Park rangers who've heard all these weird noises. Construction workers trying to build a road through the woods. Dastardly. A bird going to the toilet. Action beaver eating an exploding carrot. And then amongst it all, there's still bunny and monkey fighting each other. So that's Bunny vs. Monkey book two. Bunny vs. Monkey and the human invasion. With a book three on the way soon. So to celebrate, I thought it would be fun to draw something. For book one, I drew bunny. For book two, let's draw monkey. Why am I still talking? Let's start drawing. <laughs> So monkey's head is a circle which I'm going to pencil here, very basic, just normal circle. And then I'm draw going to draw a cross uh, so I can work out where his face is going to sit on there. So he, he has two vertical lines for eyes, as you can see a little nose, and all sitting on that cross so I can work out which direction he's looking and where. I also use the tuft of his fur like this and his little sideburn. And his hair, he has kind of like a punk mohawk. So I'll draw one bit of it here and another, and sometimes I'll do a third. So that is monkey's head. He needs eyebrows, angry eyebrows, a second eyebrow. That's too small an eyebrow. That's an eyebrow. Uh, his mouth, I often do different mouths for monkey, but here's one he does a lot where he has clenched teeth. Uh, you don't need to draw every tooth in detail, just a kind of wavy line to look a bit like teeth. Uh, an ear. His ear is basically a sort of stretched out circle. Uh, I'll draw another one on the other side, although this one will be in shadow, so we don't need much detail. His back, Bunny vs Monkey characters often have this kind of curved back, uh, a curved spine like this, and then their tummies bulge out at the front. I don't know why, I just, I find it funny to draw them like that. Uh, a little stomach panel of skin there. That sounds disgusting. Uh, for his arms, they're kind of sausage shapes. Here's one bent at the elbow, kind of like got his fist on his hip. Uh, I draw some little fingers and a tuft of hair. Uh, here, let's draw another one. He's pointing. Uh, he's got some devious scheme. Little fingers, little cuff of fur again. Uh, the ground, tufts of grass and a tail. There we go. Uh, let's give him some sort of intention, some sort of devious plan he might have. So let's draw a skull, an anxious looking skull. Um, looking rather terrified. Oh, put him in a speech bubble and call it an evil idea. So there we go, we've illustrated what monkey is thinking. Whatever it is, it involves a very scared skull. There, he's thinking, it's in a thought bubble. So I'm gonna ink it and here I'm gonna use a Kuritaki brush pen. Brush pens are kind of fun. They're a bit like using brush and ink, uh, but neater. I tend to use brush and ink um, normally but for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna use a pen and I'm gonna speed it up really quickly because uh, you don't need to see me basically tracing over pencil lines so yep doing it very quickly I'm not gonna talk about any bits of it because you can see what I'm doing and there we have drawn monkey and we blop some color in and he looks like the monkey from Bunny vs Monkey the popular book series uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to draw your own monkey, please do. I'd love to see them. Thank you very much. Take care.